want you as a network marketer to sell me this lipstick using social media without being a salesy, spammy butthole. Can you do that? In this video, I'm going to help you sell this lipstick without being a spammy butthole. Okay? Look, creating curiosity is a lot of fun, but sometimes you need to be direct and you need to sell. But if you're always selling, then you're really gonna turn people off. So I got a pretty cool way to sell this lipstick without being a spammy butthole, and I'm gonna show you exactly how. What's up? My name's Marina Simone and I was a spammy butthole just like you probably are on social media. I literally thought that the only way I could sell my products was being like, hey, come buy my stuff. Oh, by the way, here's awesome results I had. Come and get the same results. What I found was is people don't care what this lipstick did for me. By the way, I don't sell this lipstick. It's Kylie Jenner's lipstick and I'm wearing it right now. I'll make a dollar off of it so you can go buy it. It's called matte liquid lipstick show off okay and i don't make a dollar from this fyi and kylie jenner you're welcome okay so check this out people don't care what this looks like on me that might get their attention but that's not going to get them to buy you want to know why because they want to know what this is going to do for them so if all you're doing is talking about what this lipstick's doing for you but you're not painting a picture of what it will look like for them it's gonna really be hard to sell over and over and over again, especially if you're trying to sell to the same person a new product. So let me share with you how I would personally sell this lipstick on my stories on Instagram or Facebook or even TikTok. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is how I got the crusty lips. I don't know about you, but crusty lips suck. So when I was looking for a matte lipstick that wouldn't get stuck in the crinkles or the creaks of my lips, I literally tried like a hundred. How many of you have tried like hundreds and hundreds of lipsticks and then like by the end of the day, they're like all crusty and like in your lips and stuff. It's so gross, right? And then like you're literally talking to somebody at the gas station, for example, and you realize that your lips are like stuck together from like the crust and like the stickiness and, and literally just the dryness of the lipstick. Just me, the only one. Let's stop right there. What did I do in that little bit of time that I shared what I don't like about certain lipsticks? I painted a picture of what my lips actually feel like when I put on a lipstick that dries me out all day and how crusty it can get. So I'm like painting a picture. Let me ask you this question. Did you actually visualize how crusty your lips can get with certain lipsticks? If you answered yes, then guess what? I'm in your head. Now I'm gonna sell to you what this one can do for you. So I was talking to my friend Marissa and she was talking about how much she can't freaking stand how lipsticks do the same thing to her, like all the Walgreens, the CVS, and even some really expensive ones that she bought from Ulta or all the ones on TikTok. They're like, it's a good together. And it's really not. And we were talking about it. And so we both tried this incredible lipstick. I wish it wasn't Kylie Jenner's because then I could really help somebody else sell lipstick, but whatever. And so we both tried this and it's so amazing. Look, I've been wearing this since 8.30 this morning and it's not crusty. And your lips aren't gonna be crusty either. Imagine what you can do with no crusty lips the whole day. What would change for you? Let me guess, you wouldn't have to reapply it like 40 times throughout the day probably wouldn't have lipstick teeth either, would you? What did I do there? I didn't just say, hey, this lipstick's really cool. It's $4.99, which it's not, because Kylie Jenner, God forbid, would sell anything for $4.99. What did I do? I painted a visual picture for you. I told you a story, because stories sell. And some of you need to start telling more stories about the products that you use. So here's your homework assignment. I want you to write out a story about a lipstick. Yeah, even though I just gave you one, I want you to write another one. Write another story about a lipstick, something you don't sell. Maybe it's the spider, because it's Halloween. Or maybe you're selling, I don't know, the selfie stand. I want you to sell something that you don't make money off of. Because if you can get really good at telling stories about things you don't sell, you're gonna be really, really good at telling stories about the things you do sell. 
You know what I mean? If this was helpful, do me a favor, comment below, tell me what your favorite part is about this video. Tell me what else you struggle with when it comes to selling on social media so I can help you with the next episode. And of course, as always, if you freaking love this and you're like, <laughs> She's freaking awesome. I really like her. Share me with some of your biz besties and subscribe and like listen to my podcast and, you know, send me DMs on Instagram and tell me how cool I am. I mean, please. Thank you. Love you. Bye.